What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay. That's what... Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, let's do this. Uh -huh. Making their debut on the channel tonight! Tonight! <laughs> I think I've heard of these guys. I think I have. We have the Flaming Lips. Yes, indeed. How about that? The Flaming Lips making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you that are feeling inclined to do all the, all the click and the like and the boobity boobity bop, for those of you that are feeling inclined to do that, do me a favor, watch the whole video first. Let me earn those likes and clicks, okay? Now, after the video is done, if you feel like I've earned those likes and clicks, then by all means, feel free to click away. This is a request from Mass Attack 27, and this is actually one of Mass Attack's three prioritized requests for the month of August for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So here you go, Mass Attack. I hope you enjoy the show. Uh, Mass Attack wanted to see me react to this song by the Flaming Lips called Bad Days. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I don't think so. It doesn't sound familiar to me. I think I, i'm not even sure i think i've heard the flaming lips the name does sound familiar but i don't think i've heard anything from them so i'm like 99 percent sure i haven't heard the song before now look as always there's always a possibility i may have heard the song in passing and i just don't realize it so it's always if i start listening to the song and i suddenly go oh my god are you kidding me Th this is that song i recognize this I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Flaming Lips, okay? Is that the official channel? <laughs> and the video has 685,738 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. The Flaming Lips, Bad Days, official music video. Wah, wah, wah. Wow, man, freak out. I'm not saying the video is going to get blocked. I'm not saying that, okay? I'm not by any stretch. All I'm saying is this. Whenever you use the word official, whether it be a music video, lyric video, live video, audio, whatever the case may be, the word official appears in there, the chances, the odds of the video getting blocked are always gonna be a little bit higher. And if this is coming off the official page of the band or the record label or the publisher, uh, the chances are even a little bit higher than that. So look, I'm not saying that it's gonna get blocked. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is if it does get blocked, don't be surprised, okay? All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. sounds familiar the the line he said or live on mars that stuck out to me for some reason let me back this up a little bit but in your dreams you can buy it's 
expensive cars Or live on Mars and have it your way I've heard that before And you hate your I've heard that before. I don't know where I've heard it before, but I know I've heard that part before. Was it a hockey game? No, I don't think it was. There was a lot of people, but it wasn't a hockey game. Where have I heard? I know I've heard this. Okay, I, okay. I don't think I've heard the whole song, but I've heard that part. And I'm trying to remember where I heard it from. Maybe it was from a movie or a, a TV show. Maybe TV show. Maybe that's it. No, but I was... No, uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Where would I have heard this from? God dang it. This is going to drive me nuts. I'm going to spend the rest of the night trying to figure this out. Where have I heard that before? But again, I don't think I've heard the whole song. I think it was just that snippet. Just that one section. But look, I want to be honest with you guys. I don't I don't want to hide here and, and pretend like, oh, I've never heard this before when I have. You know what I mean? So I, I want to be straight with you guys. I want to be honest with you guys. I know I've heard that section before, but I think that's all I heard. I don't know. I have to keep listening. We'll, we'll find out. boss at your job but in your dreams you can blow his head off in your dreams show no mercy Okay, so to be clear, I was right. That one snippet I have heard, but after that snippet, I haven't heard the rest of this. So this is all new to me. So we're, we're okay. We're okay. I can still call this a reaction. Um, I like how they brought the bass, the, the, the kick drum in there. The do, 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 do. I like that. I, it was feeling kind of laid back and relaxed and everything was kind of fine and flowing. And all of a sudden, here comes that kick drum. And all of a sudden now, adding a little drive to the song, a little bit of a push. And I like that. I like the fact they did that. It definitely changed things up. So that's good. Okay, coming out of that, for lack of a better word, second verse, um, everybody fully kicked in. The song is now fully kicked in by coming in with a 
soloistic line. Now, I don't know what that was. That could have been a keyboard or that could have been a guitar. I'm not sure which one, what that was, but it was a, it was definitely a soloistic line. Um, would I call that impressive? No, <laughs> it wasn't impressive at all. To be honest with you, there really isn't anything all that impressive about this song. Uh, it's, it's very simplistic. It's got a lot of layers to it. I will say that. Um, I like that glockenspiel being used in the background, which is nice. Kind of adding to the melodic line, which is really nice. Just another layer. Um, the vocals on this are, it's funny. They're annoying and at the same time, they're they are they are very pretty at the same time. It's weird. It's, it's weird how it's working. It's pleasing to the ear. Okay, okay, here, I'll sum it up like this. The vocals are annoyingly pleasing. How about that? Or pleasantly annoying. How about that? Take it from what you can take it either direction, okay? But that's how I feel the vocals are. They have a definite like nasally tone, kind of squirrely uh, vocal style to it. But at the same time, there's a certain charm to it. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. But it's it's there. It's definitely there. I just don't know how I feel about it. I, I, I'm being torn on the vocals. I hear the bass coming through in the mix, which I'm really glad. Um, the, the the drums sound very simple, very, very simple, but effective. It, it's working. It's definitely working. Um, let's finish this out, and we'll get to the review, and we'll talk about it. You have to Ending with the glockenspiel. That's interesting. Didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. That was cool. That was cool. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> let me let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was the Flaming Lips with Bad Days. This is a request from Mass Attack 27, and this was actually one of Mass Attack's three prioritized requests for the month of August for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, Mass Attack. I hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, I thought about it, and I'll be honest with you guys, this is really not my cup of tea, but at the same time, there were some really good things happening there. There were. So, I think after if you give me a chance to explain where I'm coming from on this score, I think it'll all make sense. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 7.2. Yep, 7.2. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, um, this is not my cup of tea. This <laughs> is not. This is not something I would ever listen to ever again. Probably, if I'm being honest, it's just it's not in my wheelhouse. It's not something that I would ever consider saying that this is my go-to. This is my jam. No, I will never say that about this song. I will say, I was pleasantly surprised by a couple of things though, and there were a couple of things in here that actually worked out really well. Uh, first of all, first and foremost, uh, I need to clarify. I did hear that one section that sounded familiar to me. Now, I don't know where I've heard that. I have no clue. I might have heard it at a hockey game, but I don't think so. I don't think it was a hockey game because I've heard it more than once. 
Now, Grant, I have gone to a few hockey games in my day. Maybe, maybe it did. But I'm leaning more toward a movie or a television show or something of that nature, something that has easy access and repeatable and you can see over and over and over again. I'm leaning more towards that. Now, what it was, I don't know. It might have been a movie, might have been a TV show. If it was a movie, I don't know which movie it was, and I don't know which television show if it was, if it was from television, but it was something I saw, and something I saw multiple times. Don't ask me which one it is, I don't know. But I, I, that one section did sound familiar. Now, after that section was over, the rest of the song, I'll, re I'll remember it, I don't recall it, it, I didn't sound familiar. Especially when they started coming in with the drums. Now, that, at that point, I was completely lost. I was like, okay, I have not heard any of this before. So, I would say a good three quarters of this minimum, I don't recognize. Probably more like 85% I don't recognize. So I'm still gonna call this a reaction. Um, but I just wanna make sure everybody's aware that I did recognize that one part. Um, I just, I'm trying to find the context where I've heard it before. Um, the song is pleasing to the ear. It's it's upbeat, it's positive, it's 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 in a major key, feels good. Um, dominantly in a major. It has those parts where it goes down to that, that offset minor, but it, it comes right back into the major again. Um, it always resolves, it always resolves. And that's very pleasing to the ear, so that's part of it. Um, I can hear the bass coming through nicely, sounded good. Uh, the drums on this, very simplistic, but again, like I've always said, simple can be effective when it's done properly. That is a pretty much a, 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 a motto of this entire song. Nothing in this song was complicated. Everything in this song was simple. But you put it together at the right times and the right places, you add the right layers on top of each other, you mix it right, and you approach it correctly, you structure the song correctly around it, and it works. It absolutely works. Don't ask me to explain how it works. I, I can't do that. I, I'm not that good. But it does work. I, I do know it does work. Um, guitars, bass, drums, very simplistic. I'm not sure if there was keyboard in there or not. I'm not sure. That solo could have been keyboard. It could have been guitar. Either way, it worked. Um, having the glockenspiel in there, that was a nice touch. I have to say... Something as simple as adding a single instrument, a single layer on top of everything else, added a level of, uh, not complexity, but not, not complexity from a standpoint of, you know, being technical, but complexity in the form of layers and flavors. And it was nice. It was a nice addition. Uh, I could not have picked a better instrument to come in there. You know, maybe xylophone, maybe vibe, maybe marimba. Nope. Nope. Glockenspiel was absolutely the way to go there. Sounded just right. The right octave range, the right tone, the right amount of percussiveness on the impact of each note. Perfectly fine. The last thing I'm going to talk about are the vocals. Um, I said this before and I, I stand by it. Um, annoyingly pleasing or pleasantly annoying. Take your pick. Both means the same thing. The vocals on their own, man, I don't know if I can handle them, man. They sound like they sound like nails on a chalkboard. They really do. I'm just like, it's nasally, it's out of control, it's not accurate, it's not clean. But at the same time, with the context of the song, the direction of the song, the feel of the song, it fits. It absolutely fits. And it fits charmingly well. Um especially when you bring in the other voices and you layer the voices the way they did. It worked. It absolutely worked. Am I a fan? No, <laughs> I'm not a fan, but I, I can fully admit that the vocals absolutely worked with that song. Look, I've said this before. I don't have to like a song to give it a good score. I don't have to. I, I could downright hate a song and I could still recognize it for being a really good song. And that is the case here. I am not a fan of this song. I'm not. I, I didn't. I didn't enjoy it in any way, particular way, shape, or form. But there's no denying that it is a really good song. It is well structured. It's easy to follow. It's stupidly simple. I mean, it's ridiculously simple. And the vocals are downright annoying, but in a pleasant and pleasing way. So, 
that takes some work, man. It does. It, it, there is a certain level of talent that you got to come at with both songwriting and execution to make that work. So, God give it to him, man. 7.2 is a really good score. Now, I know there may be some new people here on the channel who are big Flaming Lips fans who are maybe wondering, what is a 7.2? Is that a good score? Is that a bad score? It's neither. It, believe it or not, it's actually a really good score. If you don't believe me, that's okay. Scroll down a little bit, go down into the video description, you'll very clearly see my scoring system chart. And in that scoring system, you'll very clearly see that anything between 7.0 to 7.9 is the grading scale for what? What does it say? What does it say there? It says really good. I wouldn't go as far as to call the song great, not by any stretch, but it is a really good song. And I'm giving it that 7.2 because I do believe it is a really good song. 7.2 is where we're at. 7.2 is where we're gonna stay. So 7.2, final score. I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.